the next step here is how do you secure your tablet? And we know that uh, new for the Tab S series 8.4 and 10.5 is the ability to use your fingerprint. This is a fingerprint scanner in addition to a home button. So let's uh, let's do that. And I'm going to show you some tips on how you can make sure that you have some good accuracy. Settings, I'll do the search, easiest way, and then I'll type in finger. So here I'll do the fingerprint. I'm going to choose my fingerprint for uh, my security model. Um, I am going to um, choose OK because it's telling me that it's never been set up. And now it's going to give me the ability to um, register my finger. Now, most of us, what we'll do is we'll just swipe like this eight times. What I recommend you do is that you swipe once this way, you swipe once in an angle, you swipe once in an angle, you swipe you know, in every angle you can possibly do. That way, your fingerprint will be recognized no matter what angle you swipe. So my first one, I'm going to swipe down like this. It's been recognized. This one, I'm going to do an angle one. It was recognized. I'm going to do this one in this angle. It was recognized. I'll do again the center one. I'll just do the tip. And notice how it gave me a little message that it says it wasn't enough. I'll do it one more time. But again, I, all I did is I used the tip. I'll do this. And one of the things that many folks ask is, is Samsung storing your fingerprint? The answer is no. What they're doing is storing data about your fingerprint that will allow them to recognize um, your, your, your fingerprint when you swipe. Now, uh, one of the things that it's asking you to do and that you should do is that in the event that your fingerprint doesn't work, you want to be able to use a, a numeric password in order to log in. So I'm going to type in a numeric password and then can type in my password. I'm just going to hit OK. And we're all done. Now, I can register other fingers if I would like. So if I go back into the, um, the fingerprint um, area, um, I could do that. So I'll just type in again fingerprint because that's the easiest way. And I'm going to go into Fingerprint Manager this time. And now it's going to ask me to use my finger to go into it, which I will. I'll scan it. Recognize, not a problem. And you'll notice that it says that I have one fingerprint registered. Sometimes I like using my thumb. So I'm going to register my thumb now. And again, I'm going to use the same technique. I'm going to do plus. I'm going to do OK. And again, I'm going to start straight down because that's the obvious one. But sometimes I swipe this way, like some of us do, because of how you're holding the tablet. So I'm going to swipe this way. And you'll notice that it registered it. I'm going to do one more of those. And I'm going to do one like this, just in case I have it that way. Another one facing down. Another one maybe in an angle. One like this again, maybe semi one. Uh, we'll do one with my finger a little bit up. And all of them have been registered. Right? So now... No matter how the angle goes, I'm going to be recognized. Um, very important tip because many folks complain about the fingerprint reader not registering or recognizing them because they're doing the same motion. And the reality is, is that you're never going to hold your tablet the same way every single time unless you take your time. Now, I always recommend um, you know doing at least two fingerprints uh, for two or two finger uh, registries so that you make sure that you don't have a problem. So your thumb or your actual finger. You could even use one from the other side if that's something that you choose to do. So that's how you register your finger for, for controlling your tablet for when you turn it on and turn it off, and then how uh, the, the appropriate technique so that your fingerprint is always recognized.